have a question. I'm here joined by Sarah Fiera, and I asked you this question earlier, and, and, and I didn't like the answer I got. But my question is, do you believe in love at first sound? Because she tells me love at first sight. Jocelyn, you believe in love at first sound? Yes, give him the camera. Come over here. You talk to me now. Come over here. Jocelyn, where are you from? I'm from Orlando, Florida. Jocelyn from Orlando, Chicago. Have a seat, Jocelyn. We're going to interview you right now. Well, Flora said something. You see, Flora and I, we were having a conversation about love. Love at first sight, she says, all right? She sees this beautiful dancer who's teaching her dancing and she's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. I like that. But that's not enough, right? Jocelyn, it's about what he thinks, right? It's about how he sounds. Yeah, it's about what he says. That's very important. Oh, that's very important. Very important, right, Flora? That means that how many times this man has promised me since... You know what? We're not talking about me. We're not talking about me, Flora. We're not talking about me right now. I'm so sorry. What was I talking about? I'm sorry, Flora. I'm sorry, Jocelyn. We're going to prove it to her, right? We're going to prove about love and first sound because you're the contestant. You are the bachelorette on my new show, The Hollywood Matchmaker Game. And I want you to sit here. I have some questions I have written for you to ask our panel of bachelors. And then you're going to pick the one that you're going to be happy with, all right? And I'm so happy that you brought your own photographer cameraman. You're going to want to catch every moment of this. All right. So that's the rules of our game. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Uh, Yoselin, Yoselin, uh, you see right there, do not turn around. No matter how many times I call your name, okay? It's love at first sound. Remember. Sound, all right? Do not turn around. All right, so we have our bachelorette, we have our set, we have Flora Fiera, ladies and gentlemen, right up there. One and only Flora Fiera, pushing my buttons the way she likes to do. And I, of course, want to do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Jocelyn right here, but we need your help, all right? We're about to go live on the radio, which means when you hear the title of our show, The Hollywood Matchmaker Game, I need you all to yell, scream, and cheer me as loud as you can. Can you do that for me? I know you can. I heard you very loud. It's very nice. All right. Well, that's about to go live. You ready to go live? Just give me a great introduction. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Hollywood Matchmaker Game with your host, Mr. Juan Senario. Let me hear you. Yes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here in the heart of Hollywood. I am Juan Senario, the voice nobody asked for. And I am here with our bachelorette, Jocelyn. Give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Jocelyn. Originally from Chicago, the Windy Apple, here to find love. I'm, I'm sure I got that right. The Windy Apple. I'm sure that's right. All right, now, Flora, let's introduce Jocelyn to our bachelor. Oh, my goodness, huh? Let's get bachelor number one out here. Now, bachelor number one is coming right from across the street. He is a big marathon runner, and get this one. While he runs his marathon, he loves to look at himself in the mirror. Jocelyn. 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 That was like my car ride here. I was jostling all over the place. I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, well, Jocelyn, Devin, whatever your name is, uh, I'll tell you one thing. You are really short. Don't you say You're not very tall, but that's okay. I don't mind at all. That rhymed. That was great. I'm a poet, and I'm aware of that fact. Oh. Wow. Where do I go? You're done. Just play the music. How? Oh, play the music. Have a seat. Sit down. Have a seat. Give him a oh, Give him a big hand. That's the number one. Uh, don't worry, Jocelyn. The best is yet to come, all right? Because we have bachelor number two. Let's introduce him. Now, bachelor number two also comes from across the street. He, oh, my goodness. He loves to take on his time off. And get this, ladies and gentlemen. He loves to make pancakes for this loved one. Wow. Here we go for bachelor number two. Bachelor number 
two. That's me. Welcome. I'm bachelor number two. Yes. I uh, just got out of a bad eight-year relationship, oh, but I'm in therapy, and it's nice to be back in the dating world. Don't Good for you, Bobby. They say to be honest. I agree. That's a little too it's much information. To be honest, it's <laughs> lovely. That's how you, you know what? Let's use it. Let's use it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So number two, everyone. Wow. Yeah. All right. And finally. Oh, my goodness. Johnson, and I hope you're ready. Bachelor number three is a big-time person here in Hollywood. And I'll tell you what, on his off time, he loves to train birds. He really He's a big bird trainer. Give it up for Bachelor Hello. number three. How are you? How are you? Happy How are you? Happy How are you? Hello. Happy to be here. Hello, Happy this is Happy here. Jocelyn. This is Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. I hear you're from Chicago. That's exciting. Yes. Got a lot in common. I've lived in Chicago before. What part of Chicago are you from? Gold Coast? Lincoln Park? Just, just show Suburb? Us. Suburb? She from a suburb? She doesn't want to tell you. Can you get her a microphone? I can't understand anything she's saying over just here. Just tell them quick. Schomburg area. Schomburg area! Schomburg! Actually, Schaumburg or the Schaumburg oh, area? What are we talking about? Barrington? What? Hoffman Estates? Hoffman Estates. Hoffman no. Estates! See, I thought we got a lot in common. Well, you know, you know, you know what else we got in common? What? We're both facing this direction. Okay, pick me. <laughs> wow. Bachelor number three, everyone. All right. And these are your bachelors on the Hollywood Matchmaker Game. Thank you. Now, Jocelyn, I have, of course, tirelessly worked to write a series of questions, questions, that will tell you everything you need to know about these gentlemen. And from the sound, you will get to pick your true love. So Jocelyn, if you will, read this first question. I like someone who's handy in the kitchen. If you were a kitchen gadget, why? Why would you be and why? Beautiful, perfect. If you were a kitchen gadget, what would you be and why? Let's hear from bachelor number one. Give him a big hand. Dancing. He's dancing dancing on the radio. I don't think he does. I don't think he knows where he is right now. Oh. That's what's happening right now. That's no, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing. I just ate something that didn't agree with me. Oh. Hang on there. All right, you might want to. Justin, you might want to uh, move your chair in a moment. Good thing okay. the wind is blowing this way. Yeah, really. All right, let's talk about this though. If I were a kitchen gadget, I know kitchen exactly gadget. what I'd be. I would be a toaster. Ooh. Oh, very toaster. nice. Or why? Are I you would be a toaster. I would tell you why I'd be a toaster. I'd be a toaster because I have a very wry sense of humor. Ah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, Jocelyn, if we got married and then divorced and you took all my money, it's okay. I wouldn't be sour about the dough. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Jocelyn, I'd be, well, you know what? I'd be a malfunctioning toaster. Really? And because just like a malfunctioning toaster, when this relationship is over, Jocelyn, you're going to get burned. Okay. Give me that one. That's what I'm doing. There he goes. Are you sure? And you said he was handsome. Uh, he's a very handsome man. I mean, you like so, this. You can't move You said anyway. that was nice. Listen, Bobby, don't start getting into an argument. Whatever. All right, let's see what's going on with Bachelor number two. Ooh, give it up for Bachelor. Yes, it's me, Bachelor number two, Jocelyn. From where I'm sitting, I can see your lovely long eyelashes. They were fluttering in the wind. Wow. Very pleasant. Nice compliment. I'm Bachelor number two. I just got out of a bad eight-year relationship. Oh, I wish you I'm would heavily tell. medicated. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a pleasure to be here. Um, if I was going to be, I want to toss up here. Toss up? Yeah, toss up. It's either one of them shiny metal cheese graters mm. or one of them shiny metal garlic presses. Really? Okay. Yeah, because let's face it. I mean, oh. you buy them, they're nice and shiny, but once you get them home, you never touch them. Wow. Wow. Um, just play the music, please. This is not good. That was depressing and awkward. I'm sorry, Justin, but don't worry. Don't worry. Hopefully we have a better answer from Bachelor number three. Let's hear it. Give it up. Come on, Justin. It's All amazing. Right. We're talking about Chicago, not just the streets. It smells like hot dogs. You smell that? Hot it, dogs everywhere. Yeah, it's like it's a mental... Get your hot dogs in the air. Well, yesterday was National Hot Dog Day. Oh, it's, it's, still, it's still hovering. It's hovering around. It's you know, but that could that could be the stench of romance for <laughs> Jocelyn and I. Yes. You know what, Jocelyn? We got so much in common. I bet if he asked you what kitchen utensil you'd be, you'd have the same answer I'm thinking of now. I, I think our brains are linked. Okay, so I'm going to In like a spooky way. And you're going to be, and you are thinking the same thing? You ask her. It's the one I got already. All right, all right. This Jocelyn, is wild. 
a kitchen gadget. You're sweating like a lot. Are you all right? Me? Yeah. I ate a lot of I'm hot dogs. What did I show you? Yeah, I just ate a hundred hot dogs you're yesterday. Sweating out all these hot dogs. This is why we couldn't date anymore. You're don't you tell me about the hot dog. Don't you tell me about the hot dog. It's my ears the whole time that they say, you don't have to eat a hundred hot dogs. I have to. It's a mission and Why don't you just let Matt Lord number three talk, okay? All right. I asked. All right. You asked. All right. Uh. A kitchen gadget. Sorry you had to hear that little spat. Hopefully you guys never have that going on. A kitchen gadget for a bachelor number three. A mixer. Mixer! That's exactly what I was going to say. She said it. Then yeah! Said it, so I, I was know. thinking mixer. That's I, the crazy part. I don't know if you were, but all right. It's, it's, it's a shame we're not meeting in a mixer. You know, it's a different situation here, but we're meeting here. So you are the mixer. Okay? Yeah! You're both thinking the same thing. We got different not. walks of life, but don't worry. We'll blend. <laughs> yeah! All right. You know, because I got my finger on the pulse. Ooh. The pulse that makes it sometimes. Yes. Yeah. It Do you like this? I'm very smoothie. Oh, yeah. right. And if you pick me, I'm going to say hip hip puree. Very special <laughs> number three. Was that what you expected? It probably was. That was a thrilling round here on the Hollywood Matchmaker Game. Yeah. Okay, that question may not have helped you as much as I thought when I was writing it, Jocelyn. So that's all right. Because I have another one right here, alright? Drum roll, please! Let's have Jocelyn read this question loud and proud. Sometimes I feel childlike. If you were a toy, what toy would you be and why? Excellent question, I know because I wrote it. What toy would you be? Let's find out with Bachelor number one. Wow. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Still dancing. No, it's not dancing. No, their stomach is still killing me. Oh, did okay. you have the hot dogs as well? I'm trying to hold it in. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were not right. Were How many did you eat? About 100. Yeah, I had about 102. Okay. okay. Uh, always always best to do it. Never win. This is not going to be like, pretty safe. All right, so Jocelyn, if I were a, uh, uh, what again? A, uh, a toy? Toy. Oh, if I were a toy. toy. For Jocelyn, if I were a toy. toy, I would be this. I'd be Silly Putty. Oh. oh. Silly Putty. Right. All right, all right. Because Jocelyn loving me will not be a stretch. Uh, when I meet your parents, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a good impression. And finally, I'd be uh, I'd be silly petty because once we got married and then divorced, uh, you better watch out because those alimony checks are gonna bounce. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, that was. Go sit down. The information he's giving me. Do you like this? You yeah, like, I didn't say I mean, you I, said that before. Hey, he's got the good moves. What can I say? My goodness. Let's hear from Bachelor number two, ladies and gentlemen. Bachelor number two, there he goes. Staying positive. Hello, Jocelyn. It's me, Bachelor number two. Yes, with a smile on your face, and I love that. You just got out of a bad eight year relationship. Oh. Yes, we know. You know what I'm saying, so I can see the pain in your eyes. Okay, just please, just let's just get to the question. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all right, I'm in therapy. I'm feeling good today. What, what, good day. what was the question? A toy. Toy for Jocelyn. Toy. Toy. That's it. A toy. A toy. You. Jocelyn wants to know. Yes, you are a toy for Jocelyn. No. <laughs> Which toy. would you be? Speak about it. A toy. Say you, you, Is that what you think fellas are? Justin? No. <laughs> Something you can toy around with and then said. toss back in the toy just when you're done? Well, well you can not toy with my affections! I have a good thing! Oh, oh. oh, just play the music. Just play the music. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen! Play number two! Alright, alright, alright. Moving on, moving on. Let's just go with bachelor number three. You got it! Woo! Answer the question! Oh, oh, here we go! Okay. Yes! Come on. Hello again, Jocelyn. You know, I think we really proved our point in that last round. I don't that we think were you mentally did. linked. I don't we were both thinking of Mixer. Yeah, she said it, then you, you said it. You doubt me? I'm doubting you. All right, all right, sweat mustache. Bring it over here. You ask her what toy she'd be at this. You don't have one now. I'm just trying to get in your head. I'll throw my sweat on you. <laughs> I will Ask her what toy she be. It's the same and one I'm thinking. And you're gonna of. say that. Yeah, exactly what I'm thinking. That's you're the crazy say. part about this. All right, I want to hear you She's both say it. She's blocking it from my lobe. I want to hear you both say it. Right. All right, we will both say it. You're gonna say a toy, and, and, and I'm gonna. He's gonna say it. All right. And what I'm toy? Say it. All right. Slinky. Slinky is exactly what I was gonna say. He is so good. Did you see how they did that? Isn't that crazy? I, I think she said it first, but all right, Slinky. Now you're the Slinky. Wow. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah. I'll tell you a little toy story about why I be a Slinky. Ooh. Cause I'm a dog. <laughs> Yeah! And then it's there, and then I'm an original, but one of a kind! Mm. Slinky, legendary. And you know what else? I can go downstairs by myself. Woo! Thank you. Excellent. Excellent.
are not working out the way I thought, Justin. I really thought they were going to zero in on your true love. But you know what? Um, maybe we can help her. Let's help her up, Flutter. Let's poll the audience right now. Yes. Find out what they think. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, are we going to have them describe yes. who so, the bachelor? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think that the bachelorette should choose bachelor number one, make some noise. Wow. If you think she should choose bachelor number two, who is heavily medicated, make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. The guy in the red, I thought so, you have a big fan there. Right now, if you court. think that the bachelorette should choose bachelor number three, who is mentally linked with her, make some noise! Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is so close! So close! So close! So close. I can't believe it. so close! But you know what? I have a last question. Oh, this wow. is the last resort right here. This question will prove everything for you, alright? So, loud and proud, gentlemen, read it. I love animals. Excellent question. I'm so glad I wrote it. Animal, let's find out with bachelor number one. Ooh, Take make some time. noise for him. Oh, look at him. What is this? He's really holding it in. I can see how he's holding that in. I don't even want to know. It's not a very nice sight for him. I don't even want to know why. It's very disturbing. Wow, I'm so he's terrified right now. No, that wasn't uh, my stomach. No? No, that was my mating dance. Oh, that was uh, actually yeah, the dance. That was my mating right. dance right there. Uh, okay, no, I feel better. I yeah, feel fine. Great. I did something over there. I feel great. All right, so, um, don't go near that area. No. All right. Just go with the question. So, what I'm going to say is, uh, uh, animal, right? Animal, please. This is so answer. obvious. Ladies, I think you'll all agree with me how obvious this is. If I were an animal, I'd be a dog. Ooh, I think we all agree. Dog, ladies, a dog. Yeah. Yes. Why are you a dog? Because if Jocelyn ever gets lost, I'll retrieve her. Ah. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Uh, and I would never make Jocelyn late for anything. I would never tarry her. Never would I tarry her. No, never. And finally, I'd be a dog because Jocelyn, if I misbehave, you could just whack me on the nose with a rolled up newspaper. That's my number one. So attractive. That dog. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's a nice move. Okay, be careful sitting. Okay. And you thought he was hot. You said it. You said he's got the moves. What can I say? All right. Bachelor number two, come on down, give him a hand, make him feel welcome. Hi Jocelyn, it's me, Bachelor number two, I have to apologize earlier, I think uh, medication was kind of wearing off a little bit, <laughs> so, it's possible. feeling okay now, That's possible. I'm Bachelor number two, Yeah. That's it. just got out of a bad eight year relationship. Yep, we know this. You know, you know if I was an animal, I would be the male Black Widow Spider. Oh, oh, all right, the male hey. Black Widow spider can't wait to hear why. Well, because when he mates with the female, she eats him and doesn't drag it on for eight long years. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I can't see them. I don't even know what to say about This is supposed to be a fun, happy game about fun. Yeah, he should have brought his medication, don't you think? All right, let's find out bachelor number three is oh, oh, Come on, everyone. Oh, yeah. Come on. This is going so well. Is it? Yes. Is it? I can tell. We are so bonded. Mentally do you, do you linked. Do you want this? Do you, no? Oh. No, no, no. I have my you, own. You're not Thank sweating you. at all. I'm not sweating. You're so in touch. Yep. I had, I had all of my pores closed. Oh. That's good. Yes. Come as a cucumber you are. Yes, I am. All right. But you're not fooling. You were saying you were in touch. With we you. are. We're and thinking you, the same answer. Yeah, this yeah, one but too. here's the deal. What? Every time she says it, then you say it. Yeah? You don't say it at the same time. Well, I'm proving right? my point. She's blocking it right out of my head. No, no, no. You have to say it at the same time for me to believe that you are both. So what it's going to take? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Jocelyn, I want you to think of no it. No problem. Animal. You count us off. I'm going to count it down. Fancy. I'm going to say three, two, one, and then I want you to say the animal. You better say it right All right. Now, all right? Let's find out right Your now. head looks like a pencil eraser. <laughs> so I should know that. <laughs> I am a writer, so that I'm just, I'm just observing it. It's true. Because I don't even get to think about this answer, right? I know okay. what the answer is. Just Please. We got a channel, you see it? You have, you have no filter, dude. You see it? It's like a, I don't like a monorail it. connected to us in the Wow. One, two, three. Monkey. Monkey! Oh my goodness, I heard it. It was the same time. Thank right? you. Oh, All right, I'll give it to you. Monkey. monkey. You're a monkey. Yeah. I agree with that. I got statement. one clap out of that. 
Why? Tell me why. Well, there's one reason I wouldn't be a monkey, because I'm tough. Ooh. Yeah. I'm no chimpanzee. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wish that was my third one. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice, but... No. But! But! I'm about to go bananas for this girl. She's fantastic. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and just like a monkey, when I take her on our date to Applebee's, if they won't see us, we'll just go to a different branch. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's number three! What a barrel of laughs this guy. These are your bachelors. That was your final round, and this is the Hollywood Matchmaker Game. Give them all a big hand. All right, Jocelyn, it's time to make a choice between one, two, or three. You heard them all before. You heard their questions. Yell out your favorite number, one, two, or three. Who should you pick? Is it gonna be one, two, or three? One, two, or three? Jocelyn, you have to make the choice. One, two, or three. Is it gonna be? And it's gonna be? Number three. Number three! Number three. Yeah. All right, all right. Very well, you chose number three, but before you meet him, let us introduce her to the one she did not choose, or as we like to call them, the, the losers! Who do we have? Now, bachelor number one always has the cash. He's always in attack, and he is proof that movie stars have to be absolutely beautiful. Give it up for Montgomery Dad. Oh, Joss, I'm so glad you chose me. I knew it was inevitable. Listen, you, me, my wife, my mistress, we're all going to have a great life together. It's going to be great. No, no, no. What do you mean? She did not choose you. She didn't choose me. No, she meant to say not chose you. That's right. Not chose you. <laughs> Such a kidder! You're so funny, Juan! I know you chose me. It's okay. Listen, I'm gonna go get us a table at the Brown Derby. I gotta go! This is awkward. This is awkward. Montgomery Dash. Look at them go, my goodness. Well, you think he's beautiful. Oh, just say. Just, just say. He might not all be there, but he's pretty beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that man go. Oh, yeah. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Alright, who else do we have? We have. If you haven't become famous here in Hollywood, it's probably because you don't know. Take it all in, this all could have been yours. I got more issues in Time Magazine. That's all right, I, I wish you all the best of luck and, and I hope you have a great life. Please, take me back! I can't live without you! I'll shave you back! I'll clean that gun between your toenails! I'll take care of your little rock rats! Please! All right, Jocelyn, rise to back. Face me. For it's time for you to meet the love of your life. That's right. Who do we have? Oh my goodness. Now he does not have to be funny because government is already a joke. Give it up for Mayor Sonny Bennett. Hey, Jocelyn! Thank you for picking me. Now, I know you think I'm going to talk too much, but just like a mixer, I'll keep a lid on it. Ooh. Just like a slinky, you give me a spring in my step, and now that I see you like a monkey, I'm going ape! Woo! There it is! Wait, who's, who's the guy with the same color? What's going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, you're going That's your husband! That is your husband. Oh, you getting this? We're going to need a copy of this later, sir. If you can just drop it by. Okay. Really appreciate it. All right, well, it goes to show that anything can happen here in Hollywood where dreams are born and stars arise. Put your hands together for bachelor number three, Sunny Burbank. Great job on scenario, everybody. Thank you, thank you. You'll be enjoying us dancing the night away.